Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my spring essentials slash favorites. This is the first time I've done a video like this. So let me know what you guys think of these kind of videos by giving it a thumbs up. Also, this is going to be a collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube. Her channel will be linked down below. Um, my friend is Kayla. We've done a collab video before, which was our Valentine's Day inspired look. So we just decided to collaborate and do um, our favorites for um, spring. So I will be showing you mine. And if you are interested in seeing what her essentials slash favorites are, then go ahead and check out her channel. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to talk about is nail polish and these are super bright. So I have a couple of nail polishes that I love to wear during the spring um, just because it's, you know, it's that time where you can get colorful and um, wear like neon colors, pastel colors, just bright colors in general. So the first color is the one that I'm wearing on my nails today and this is by the brand Nina and this is in the color Violet, Violet It Ride. Violet what? Violet It Ride. It's a weird name. So this is the color that I know I will be rocking this year because I love pinks. But this one's a really nice neon like purple pink i don't know exactly how to describe the color but it's absolutely gorgeous now these do dry to a matte finish so if you don't like matte um nail polishes then you can always wear a gloss on the top i don't mind the matte finish what i did is i just added a little bit of glitter onto some of my nails just so i can give it a little bit more of a pop but these colors are totally going to be on my nails like 24 7. Another color that I also wanted to mention is this mint color. This is by the brand LVX and this is in the color mint. Um, I know that I've mentioned this a couple of times and it's because I really like it. I got this in my March BoxyCharm so I will also leave that video linked down below but it's just the perfect color for spring because those colors are so in trend like the um, the mint colors, like the baby pink, the like the lilac colors, like the one I'm wearing on uh, on myself today. So this is definitely another color that I will be wearing and my hair is a hot mess. Now, another thing that I know will be on my face like 24-7 is highlight. And I mean, I live for highlight. I love me a good highlight. I am a highlight whore, literally. I love highlights. I just feel like they bring so much youthfulness to the face. Your face looks so like, I don't even know. It's like an angel touched the high points of your cheekbone. So these are two of my favorite liquid highlighters. I like to use liquid around the summer because my face gets really oily. And I feel like the powder just kind of melts away because of my freaking oily face. So these are two of my favorite ones and these are by e.l.f. and they are both shimmering facial whips. This one is in this one is in the color golden peach and it's what I'm wearing on my cheekbones today. I already busted these boys out because they are absolutely gorgeous and they're only a dollar a piece. And then the second one is in the color lilac petal and it's a really soft like peachy lilac -y type of color really gorgeous i like to apply it to the back of my hand warm it up dab it onto the high points of my cheekbones and then just blend it out with a moist beauty blender so these are another must have for me for this spring now because i am an oily girl i always have to have some sort of like blotting sheets or something to just revitalize my makeup because all here it just gets a hot mess so what I've been loving, and you guys saw this, is the e.l.f. Mineral Mist. And this just replenishes and revitalizes your skin, which is what I need. What I like to do is I like to wash my face. And once I'm done washing my face, I will apply my moisturizer. Once I let that sink in, I will go in with this and I will just literally 
bathe my face in this and it's so amazing it smells really good um, you can definitely smell the witch hazel in it which does not bug me at all and sometimes I'll even carry this with me just if I need a little bit of a touch up on my makeup I'll just spray it all over and I feel like my skin looks so much brighter in complexion it shines and uh, I don't know there's like a little magic potion in this because it has me crazy now that the seasons are changing, I like to change up my perfume. The one that I absolutely love and I've been loving for I don't even know how many years is the JLo um, or the Jennifer Lopez Live Lux perfume. This is such a sweet smelling perfume. It's really flowery. It's really sweet. And I just love how this smells on me, especially during the spring and the summer. I don't know why, but I just keep this in the back end of my little perfume collection. And then once it comes to spring, I just pop this back out because I love using it. And I always get so many compliments when I wear this. I've I've had it for maybe like a year, maybe two years, and I'm down to here. So it's almost gone, and it still smells really good. And the bottle is just absolute cuteness all over. So yeah, this is one of my favorite perfumes to have around the springtime. Again, it's just very sweet and I love it. Now I want to talk a little bit about hair. As you may know, I recently did ombre to my hair. So that means that I have to take care of my hair a lot more than I normally would. Because the spring and summer, like I said, it can be very drying depending on where you are, especially in the summer, it's going to get really hot. But I just find that during the spring, sometimes my hair can get a little bit frizzy and it can get a little bit like weighed down and just a little bit dry again because it's starting to warm up. So two products that I absolutely swear by and that I live by. I do reach out for these products a lot more when it starts to get warm because I do not want my hair to be like a freaking escoba, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so the product that I love using on my hair is this keratin protein and this is a mask. So all you do is you wash your hair, you apply this to your hair, and you leave it on for about 10 minutes. I like to get out of the shower and then apply this to my hair, and then I'll just rinse it off in my sink. This leaves my hair so stinking silky. This stuff is amazing. Keratin is amazing for your hair because it's a natural protein that our hair provides, but some of us lack in it. So I need to replenish my hair and I absolutely love this. And the second thing is an oil. This is the L'Oreal Paris Extraordinary Oil. I've been using this for a while and I love how it leaves my hair. It leaves it really smooth really silky and it gives a really nice finish. I love to have really glossy hair since I naturally don't have it because I have curly hair and this is really nice. I get the one that's dry to coarse hair because I do have naturally dry coarse hair and this just saves my life. Again, especially for the spring and summer, this is going to come in handy sometimes. I'll even carry this in my purse. When I have my hair straight, then I'll just pump a little bit and then apply it to the ends of my hair and it smells so good. Now I want to mention three lipsticks that I love wearing again during the spring because it's so colorful. If you guys know me, you know that I am not scared of wearing bright either lipstick or bright makeup. I really don't care. I do love my neutrals, but I love wearing bright makeup. So these are the three lipsticks that I will be using a lot this um, spring. So the first one is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the color Morocco. I absolutely love this one. I think I wore it on my last video. This does dry to a matte finish and as you can see it's a really nice like bright orange with a little bit of those red undertones. It is so pretty. I absolutely love 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 it. And then another lipstick that I know I am going to be wearing because I already started wearing it is pink. Pinks are, I mean you can never go wrong with pink. You can wear it year round. 
but for spring I just feel like everything looks better when it's bright so this is a Milani lipstick and this is in matte diva number 63 it is from their newest collection so it's this color right here super bright and oh I just love this color I cannot wait to just wear the hell out of it you guys are probably gonna be like girl you need to change up your lipstick but I don't even care because it's so pretty so again that is matte diva by milani uh cosmetics and then the last lipstick is definitely a little bit more bold i did complete swatches on these j cat lipsticks and i was really tempted to wear this today but i knew it was going to be like purple overload so this is what it looks like it's a really nice lilac color and it is gorgeous if you want to be bold this year which i encourage you to to step out of your comfort zone you don't have to wear like purple eyeshadow and then purple lipstick you can definitely just do a really bold wing liner with absolutely no eyeshadow some falsies and then put on some purple lipstick and i guarantee that you will love it and this is in the color throwback thursday which they have really fun names so I only have um, one more makeup thing and then I'm going to show you a couple of clothing pieces that I love to wear during the spring. So the last makeup piece that I wanted to show you guys is this big old thing right here. This is by the brand Shani or Shani Cosmetics. Oh, you guys know that I soak or pronounce you things. This is the Masterpiece 7 Layers All-in-One Makeup Set. This thing is huge. You get a whole bunch of eyeshadows, you get concealers, you get blushes, you get um, little lip glosses, and you get, um, did I say eyeshadows already? Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Let me just show you guys. So it comes with really nice, like, orangey colors, spring, and then you get really bright purples, reds, yellows, more purples, blues, dark purples. And I love this because it has an array of shimmery and matte colors. And then these are some lip glosses, which are absolutely gorgeous. They're really, really pretty. And then you have concealers. And then you get some blushes. Like this. So I did use this today to create this like really dramatic purple smoky. I don't know if it's smoky, but it's a really nice bright purple. And yeah, you also get bright green ones. So this is definitely a really good kit if you are wanting to invest into something that is really colorful and that has not just eyeshadows, but lip glosses, blushes, and um, concealers. I think you're really going to like this. I will leave their link down below if you are interested in this. I think you guys are going to love it. So the last things that I wanted to share with you guys are clothing pieces. And obviously I can't show you everything that I have in my closet. But just to give you an idea of what I like to wear during the spring. So this one is one of my all-time favorites. I just got it and I got this one from Kohl's. It is so pretty and doesn't it just scream spring? I love it. It's really nice and bright. It's really lightweight and it's pretty long and it has really pretty, um, what do you call this? Lace. That's what it's called. Lace. It has really nice lace at the bottom and it just has a whole bunch of bright colors. Like I said, it's like this bright blue. It has white. It has like hot pink. It has orange. It has yellow. So this is a really cute piece to just throw on top of like a spaghetti strap, kind of like this one. And then if you want to wear some high heels, which I love wearing heels all year round, that will look really, really cute. Cute. Um, and then I have another kimono that I also like and these are just two of my favorites from what I have this is from forever 21 and this one's a little bit shorter so it's going to accentuate more shorter girls like me um, it's going to make it seem like your waist is a little bit longer so this is one of my favorites and it's really florally is that a word it has really nice flowers as you can see I like flowers on my kimonos and this one's a little bit darker but I still think it's really nice for the spring so that is everything and that I wanted to share with you guys as far as my spring essentials slash favorites 
And actually the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys are these sandals. Oh my god, I am just like obsessed with these. I just got these yesterday and I feel like I'm going to be wearing these a lot. I know that these aren't everybody's style. They can be like a little like old lady like maybe but i think if you pair them with a cute like dress down outfits it's going to look really really nice and the color you can't go wrong it's a really nice beige color so i got these because they wear a lot of gold so yeah so that is everything that i have to share with you guys today let me know what your spring essentials or favorites are for this year share them down below in the comment section so again, don't forget to go ahead and check out Kayla's channel so you can see her spring essentials slash favorites. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Say hi. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say see ya. See ya.